it's the next morning now. Please ignore how I look. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower at the end of today. But I just have to tell you, right now in our lives, it is Wednesday. It is technically our last day here, our last day to pack the truck, get everything in order. Tomorrow we're driving up to Vermont. And Finley, <laughs> I've been trying to get him to just keep a secret. Just don't talk about the move until I make the announcement video, right? And today he literally posted on Instagram announcing something really big in two days. The old woman is making me keep it a secret for right now. You guys are gonna be like, what? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, or something like that. And then he was like, secret is we're getting a hamster or some shit. I literally had to go out to the little house where he's packing right now and be like, delete this. I didn't realize I would have to tell you something like this. You know what I mean? Like you're the one blowing my cover, not anybody else, not any of the other family and friends that we've told. All of my patrons know, all of my moderators on Twitch know, <laughs> like, there are so many people who could have spilled this secret before you, but it's you. What's up with that, you know? Just delete it. And he was like, what? It's funny. <laughs> yes, babe, it is funny. I laughed, but still, you can't keep it up. <laughs> people are just gonna be like, what? What are they announcing? It's either a house or a baby. You know, at this point, it's like, there's not that many options, but it's a house. <laughs> Girl, this is so real right now, I had to share. So my hair has been in a low bun since Monday. It originally was in two braids and then I had to brush out the braids, put it in a low bun. Actually, did I ever brush it before I did that? Oh no, I don't think I did. So my hair is not only kinky from braids, but it's, and it was really messed up. I think I like, on the first vlog I was wearing pigtail braids. They got so disheveled that I put it into pigtails. Then I had to put the pigtails into a bun. Now I can't even separate really the hair. It's becoming one big dread. Um, but the reason I wanted to film myself doing this, not the whole process, because it's gonna take a while, I already know that. Also, I always take off my glasses when I brush my hair so that I don't, you know, and then they fly off my head. Anyway, um, you know when you're moving and you like want to pack all of your shower stuff, but then you're also like, I'm gonna be disgusting when I finish moving all of these things. So I need the shower stuff. That's how I'm feeling right now. Like. I want to shower at the end of today because my hair is not even that greasy and I'm not like that gross. Finley has been working, he worked yesterday even in the rain. So if anybody's gross, it's him. Oh, he showered last night though. Never mind, I can't even blame him. I'm the one who's probably the most disgusting. I mean, today's Wednesday and I haven't showered since what, Monday. But I digress, okay? All I'm saying is that when we moved out of our Oregon house because we had to like make everything completely empty, every single room, you know, it was so much harder because the night before we moved out, I just sat under the faucet, just like putting water on myself after cleaning our disgusting basement filled with dust. My feet were like black and I was just like, why did I pack everything but a bar of soap? <laughs> It was really too real, honestly. So I'm gonna leave, I mean, thank God that this house is a guest house, so there are like random bars of soap and random bottles of shampoo and conditioner upstairs. So I actually don't even know why I'm complaining about this because we are able to leave a lot of things behind here. And that's why I think this move feels less like sad too, because like I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, like we can not only always come back to this house, like when you move out of apartments, you're like, well, I'm really never gonna live here again. But it's like, this house will always be here and always be in the family. So we can always come back and visit and be like, oh, remember when we lived there for 10 months? What a time when we were saving money to buy our dream house, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, it's also been kind of weird while we've been packing though, because we've been trying to decipher like, what is ours and what is not. And the lines are feeling a little bit blurry as our memories are betraying us. Like Finley packed a bunch of grill tools downstairs in the kitchen, which I'm gonna work on soon, the kitchen and dining room area. And he was like, I'm pretty sure we got these for Christmas, right? And I was like, did we? Or were they just like a family gift? Like, were they for you? And he was like, I'm pretty sure I volunteered to take them and everybody said it was okay. So I, I'm gonna pack them, I'm gonna take them. I was like, all right, <laughs> hope no one cares. Anyway, I'm just blabbing, I'm just dancing, I'm just raving. 
Um, Finley is currently getting a lot of progress done on the moving truck, but we certainly will not have enough room to take both the upstairs and downstairs of all of the storage in the little house. On top of all of the stuff that we have to pack from this house, like Lord Almighty, it's just gonna be a lot. I already know that the truck is gonna be completely full, and even though it's a 20 foot, it's not 20 feet of usable space um, because of that little area in the back back there. So we moved out here with a 16 foot trailer, but before that, Finley had moved out here with the pigs and was towing a U-Haul trailer. I'm pretty sure the 12 foot one of a bunch of the basement stuff. So we really, I guess, should have gotten a 28 foot trailer. But honestly, dude, I mean, I know it's America and they're all like, have your freedoms, but like, should we really be giving random people the freedom to drive a 28 foot truck when they weren't actually given a trucker's license? And none of them like actually really know how to back something like that up. I mean, Finley can drive a 16 foot trailer and a 20 foot trailer fine, but you know, you put another eight feet on there. <laughs> and also if you're towing something on the back, like things get a little dark. So we'll just have to make another trip, I think, but that's fine. A lot of the stuff that's in storage for us, we have both been like, don't know what's in there. Let's just move up with as much as we can and then come back. I'm actually coming back to DC to see Beyonce. The first week of August, it's either this, I think it's the sixth of August. Lindsay and I are gonna go on a DC trip, so I'll be back here around then. So I was telling him like, maybe around that trip, we could get another load or, try to rush building the pig pen and then come back here, get the pigs and also get another load of stuff or something. So there's a couple of options. We just have to talk about it later. Um, the plan was to move up with everything, but then we realized when we got the truck that we certainly will not be able to do that, <laughs> which is fine. Later tonight, I'm gonna do a load of laundry of these two things that I've been wearing like the entire move. <laughs> because they're gonna be dirty. And I'm about to go and pack up a little bit of the little house, and then I'm gonna start on my 800 other tasks I have to do today. Sounds good. Finley ordered a bunch of moving blankets offline and they came in this giant fucking box. So I put all of our stuffed animals in here, the grill tools, water bottles, and I'm also going to put in here my gorgeous sword so that she can have a box that's big enough to fit her. The truck really doesn't look that big from this side to me. We got Sacagawea on the side. Finley's back there making sure all of the items on that top shelf are secured. And I'm gonna go down here to the basement of the little house where we've been keeping a lot of our farm stuff, like all of our feed things for the girls and also for all of our projects, most of the tools and things are in here. But, oh, I just realized I can't really access that. I was gonna come in here and repack my sewing cabinet because when I sewed my Halloween costume, I climbed on top of all these boxes and like burst that open and leaned it up against the wall. And I'm pretty sure all of the shit has just like fallen out onto the floor back there. So I was gonna repack it, but I can't really access it right now because there's so much shit in the way. So, never mind. <laughs> What are you dogs doing? We have all of our Christmas and fall decor over here too. And well, things are a little packed. I honestly feel like even if we just put all of this into the truck that it would be full. And that's not even accounting for the upstairs, which is basically all of our furniture. But hey, we'll see today. Finley has amazed me with his packing skills, but seriously. Look, this piece is not ours, and that table is not ours, but all of this other stuff is. So, not to mention an entire other room back there that I am currently not able to access, but Rue can access it. <laughs> Yesterday, I realized that this entire linen closet is filled with our linens, and I had forgotten about this. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave obviously all the paper towels, the easel, and these little like cleaners, but other than that, yeah. I gotta pack all this in these bags. All right, Finley and I have just discussed the absolute reality that we're gonna need to leave behind a ton of stuff, especially stuff that we don't need right now, like Christmas stuff. So 
I'm gonna leave that in there for right now. Might have to move it to a different location later, but I am gonna take my bath caddy because I fucking love this thing. If you're getting married, put one of these bad boys on your registry. That's what I did. It's an amazing gift. I mean, obviously only if you have a bath, but I'm gonna take this downstairs and then I'm gonna water all of the plants so that I can pack them. And Rue's losing her mind because I think somebody's here. By the way, when I say that we have to leave some stuff here, obviously, I mean that we're gonna come back and get it. Also the train, the Amtrak runs from our town that we're moving to all the way down to basically like 30 minutes away from here. So we can just take the train down, rent a U-Haul, come here, pick up all of our stuff, and then drive the U-Haul back up and then drop it off up in Vermont. So that's our current plan. And also when we move up, because I'm driving the Lexus with the dogs and all of the house plants, and then whatever like other stuff we can fit in there, obviously like my suitcase, my backpack, everything I need like for the journey. But I need to water all of the plants before because I want them to soak up the water um, before tomorrow. Like I don't want to water them in the morning and then be really heavy and wet. I want to water them today, the day before we have to leave so that they can soak it all up, hopefully get rid of the excess by tomorrow when I move them into the car. Because I think I'm going to do it probably in the morning before I go um, pack up the Lexus. But who knows? I might do this at like 12 a.m. <laughs> Tonight. Okay, I definitely can't pack all of the kitchen stuff inside of this big box because it would be like 500 pounds And I also still have to find boxes for all of our shoes my shoes specifically So I'm gonna go try to see if we have some empty boxes in the little house because I think that we do But I just got to locate those bad boys, you know, and this is the current status of what's going on. Everything was brought out here. This is what it's currently looking like in here. This is why I said we're definitely not getting everything. He hasn't seen me. Well, some progress is certainly being made in here. Looks like my dresser got loaded in. I think I should put my shoes in these empty suitcases. This was a present off my wedding registry. I love my Samsonite. I've been trying to listen to my book all day, but I keep misplacing my phone because I don't want to put it in my pocket. So I've just been working in silence for a while now. Watch out, Ram. So I'm just gonna pack in my suitcase my Birkenstocks as well as my clogs, my Bolina's clog from the sack, which are like my favorite shoes ever next to my Birkenstocks. My Birkenstocks have been giving me, what the? You saw a snake? My Birkenstocks have been freaking giving me like blisters on the inside of my foot though, right here. Sorry for the foot shot, it's true. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm about to close off the biggest box of the move so far. I might have to straddle the same right like a cowgirl. Okay, it's closed. I just picked up three big boxes from the barn at my in-laws. So I'm gonna grab those. And I also got, whoa, watch out dogs. I have all of our donations in the back back here right now, but Finley made a really good point to me that I shouldn't waste my time going on a trip to donate today. We can just leave everything here and either do it later when we come back or just have one of his family members do it for us because everybody is like happy to help, you know? Like I shouldn't just go take a trip, take hours out of my packing time just to do that. So I just went and grabbed some packaging things. I also grabbed this big box that's filled to the brim with, you know, plastic wrap, bubble wrap, styrofoam pieces, all that kind of stuff, which I'll definitely need for the kitchen. So I just wanted to grab it now. Let's do a little check in on Finley slaying doing his little puzzle pieces, killing it. Bags are really going in on the couch well. It's looking fantastic in here. She's proud of us. If anybody else isn't, she is. There's a good bit of room in here, so. Finley wanted to show the vlog how great he's doing. So yeah, I don't know if Megan's ever mentioned the vlog. I am somewhat of a geometry wizard, so. <laughs> pretty much born for this. Just out here sweating, getting my Tetris on. It's fucking clean though. If you came back here, you if you were back there, you would you would literally suffocate to death. You would not survive. That's how well I packed this thing. There is not any space for anything other than like a pencil or something like that. <laughs> 
And then same with all under here. Or maybe Rue could fit because she's as tiny as a, pin, a pinprick. Mm, nope. <laughs> this is full of stuff. Oh yeah, this that's cool. Full. You put a moving blanket. Okay, so he stacked like a shelf, put stuff on the shelves, put a moving blanket and taped that blanket on so that nothing will fall off of the shelves. So we're in pretty good shape though. Like we have a lot of room in here still. I mean like in terms of actual total volume, we probably are only like half full. Mm -hmm. so, or maybe a little more. Okay. So it's going well. Like basically what I'm saying is we're gonna have to pick more stuff to bring, I think. But yeah. And we should like I mean there's already furniture covering almost the whole floor. We can go walk in there and see. The dogs are having a lot of fun on this tarp. You have something wrong with your butt? Ew. I'm packing up all of the kitchen stuff and I'm gonna make chia seed pudding for tomorrow. And I already put in like half a cup of the, are you inside of the suitcase, Rue? She is. I already put in half a cup of the chia seeds, which was very convenient because I only had a half a cup left and that's why I wanted to make this, is to use up the rest of my chia seeds. I also put in like half a teaspoon of almond extract because I already packed my vanilla extract and then I'm adding in a pinch of sea salt. You can also add in like a teaspoon of cinnamon if you're feeling crazy. And then three to five tablespoons of maple syrup, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna add in a bunch of honey. I don't really need it to be that sweet. Five tablespoons seems like a lot. I also wanted to make this to use up the rest of my cocoa powder. So it calls for a quarter cup. And I think that this is about a quarter cup left anyways. I don't fucking know. I'm just spitballing here, okay? This is what it looks like so far, pretty cool. And then we're supposed to add in a cup and a half of coconut milk, but I think I'm gonna need a bigger jar because I am unable to mix all of this together in this jar. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a bigger jar. <laughs> is this gonna be enough? I don't know. It looks fucking disgusting, but I wanna have this for the morning. I'm just gonna use up the rest of my coconut milk as well. Okay, well I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight and hope that it congeals well and tastes good. One can only hope. Hey, it's been hours. Sorry, not that many hours since I checked in. Actually, not even hours since I made the chia seed pudding. I, for some reason, just got like moderately insecure that today's vlog is gonna be kind of boring. I don't know what days I'm combining and if I'm gonna make these like multiple vlogs. I feel like that's kind of a better idea to make the multiple vlogs because there's just so much that we have to get done. But I've just been packing the kitchen for a really long time. I'm actually using a suitcase to transport the rest of our like groceries and food that are here. And then this has our dish rack with like our fragile mushroom like serving bowls and ladle and some other fragile chip. And I'm just trying to get all of the like bigger stuff ready for Finley to take out to the car. I have some groceries just hanging out over here. And then I also have some <laughs> under here. And also I found inside of this suitcase this suitcase, which I'm pretty sure that Finley got for Christmas, because when I was taking that other bigger suitcase in, I was like, something's in here and I don't know what it is, but it was this. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to pack that with stuff too, or maybe just leave it. But I definitely still have to do like all of these trinkets. Shit, maybe I should add those into the plastic bin. I'm not done packing the plastic bin. One last compost dump to wash the bottom of that out too. Bye chickies. Love you hens. Don't know where the rooster is. Love you girls. Probably won't see them in the morning. I'm gonna get some more boxes from my in-laws barn. Found all the bubble wrap I could possibly need. This is how much we're leaving in here, guys. It's pretty insane. We're literally gonna have to come back and probably get an entire other 20 foot U-Haul or something like that because sheesh. I think Finley's gonna try to get this in the truck this like makeshift shelf that we built in a vlog a couple years ago. And then also probably put these chairs in there. But other than that, uh, the rest of this stuff is gonna need to find another home. But I just actually came in here to label everything for our family. $3 per bottle when returned to Wegmans customer service. Didn't have time to do that. Then this is for Goodwill, Goodwill, Goodwill. So are these, this is for Best Buy Tech Recycling under there for goodwill as well. Rue, you're gonna have to get out of here, okay? Come on. You can see six of the horses grazing in the distance. So cute, I love them. There's about nine or 10 horses who live on this property now. Also, look at the moon. 
Love her work. God, I love it here. Don't worry, girls. You're going to hang out here with your mud holes, getting taken care of. And then we're going to move you, and you're going to love your new house even more in Vermont. Yeah. Are you going to be a hardy piggy? Are you going to be a warm piggy in the winter? Are you going to be a tough piggy, Peachy? You're my tough girl. I don't have anything for you. I actually just came to use your hose to wash out my compost bin. Don't sneak in there like a little snuffleupagus. Oh my god! Look at my little flappy-eared girl. So happy to see me. Hi, Ducky Wucky. Hi. Love you. You're eating lots of snacks? There is a lot of fresh grass. We were able to cut their feed down significantly because of how green the grass stays during the summers here, which was not the case in Oregon. Oregon's grass completely like dried up every summer. So we would have to like supplement with feed in the summertime too. But now in the summer, it's all good here. Summer rain is good for all farms. That's what I have to say. Now, why the hell are you drinking that water? I just filled up your other one, Jackie. Why do you do that? Just to be funny, little funny prank. You don't even want to drink from the fresh water faucet that's next to you. She's so weird. These girls don't even know that tomorrow morning before we head up to Vermont, I'm gonna give them their favorite summer snack, a full watermelon. And I'm gonna toss it in there and crack it open. They can eat till the cows come home. Good girls. Very refreshing snack coming in the morning. So better get to bed early. Well, look about the time. It is eat everything in the cabinets and freezer o'clock. <laughs> I'm having some Amy's lentil vegetable soup. And then I also added in three don't have a cow meatballs, the meatless meatballs from Wegmans. And then Finley has a pot of chicken and wild rice soup over there that I made him as well as those little meatballs to add into his, but he is on the other side of this door, unloading some moving blankets to pack with. Oh. Guys, it's 10.35 and I'm fucking feeling it. My whole body hurts, my back especially, and like my calves and my ankles and my feet, just everywhere, Rue, just everywhere. <laughs> Do you guys see her right now? She really has been desperate to get in any of the packing supplies. She's like, y'all are bringing me, right? And she doesn't trust me when I tell her 800 times that we are. So I found all of this bubble wrap at my in-laws house. And I'm about to bubble wrap up all the shit that I forgot about in my kitchen when I originally packed my kitchen. So I left some of these trinkets like this was hidden behind a plant. Whoops. And I actually, I'll show you guys in a second, but I actually just packed all of my plants as well. I can put these both together in here. I'm getting the vibe like there's more room than I anticipated. Oh, okay, that's actually not. No. I'm gonna need tape, scissors, and to actually do this right. BRB. Well, this may come as a shock to some of you, but I've actually been working in silence for a lot of the past few hours. I don't know why, I'm just kind of like getting distracted every time I turned on a Court of Mist and Fury and I just like couldn't focus on it. And I know that I'll be able to focus on it tomorrow in the car, so that's what I'm gonna do instead. Just wait. But I'm gonna cut all this bubble wrap in half. I know, Root, you really need to take a load off. Just get comfortable over there. She finally is laying down. She really has been following me around everywhere all day. And I know she's just so tired. Now we tape this closed. So I decided to fill up this suitcase. I originally had packed it with a bunch of food, like a bunch of stuff from our pantry. And then Finley needed the moving blankets that I had put inside of here. So then I unpacked it and I was able to actually, it was a good thing that he had me unpack it because then I was able to fit everything in a smaller suitcase. And I just left some food stuff behind for whoever comes here next. So that was definitely a good move on his part to encourage me to take the moving blankets out. It was just kind of clunky to fill up this whole thing with just food. It didn't really make sense. So now I'm filling up the suitcase 
with trinkets. Like this is a thermometer. It still works. And it's really cool. It's like a banjo thermometer. And I'm just gonna get these nice and secure. And I'm also gonna put this in here because it will lay flat in here. It's like, I actually, if y'all have been with me for a really long time, like watching me for years and years, in a past room tour, probably in, I don't know, say 2012 or 2013, maybe even the years like early after that, I used to stuff this full of bandanas and then my bandana collection got so big that I had to get a whole other storage rack for it. And now I store them on a ladder and it's way easier access because this is like, it was really hard to pull them through the birdcage wire. Like it was just a lot, you know? So I'm glad that I ended up uh, just switching to the ladder. I think ladders are such a cool decor idea. Like go off ladders. Who thought that they were so versatile? Not me, until I started using Pinterest to look into more stuff to do with this home renovation. And now I'm just blown away by all the things I can do with a ladder. It's really incredible. Anyway, my Pinterest board actually has been private for a couple months since we found the house over Memorial Day weekend because I haven't wanted anybody to know that I'm gonna be renovating a home. Well, except for obviously like people were close to me in my life, but I just wanted to keep it a secret and then drop the mic and be like, I bought a house. You know, I've been manifesting this for months and now it's finally here, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, you guys are already probably over the announcement this, at this point. Actually, maybe you're not. Some people are really good about just maintaining the oomph. I'm trying to maintain the, the pizzazz and maintain the oomph right now. <laughs> while I'm packing throughout the night because I'm like, damn, I'm going to my dream location. So just all good vibes ahead, you know? <laughs> no need to even worry about anything. Finley's really out there lighting it up. I'm really proud of him. He's really holding down the fort. I pretty much did not help at all today outside. I bring things outdoors to him, but I don't really, you know, help him pack the truck. I haven't really been moving anything large, you know, which is good for me because I don't want to hurt myself. And sometimes I am not an asset in that area and I'm more of a slowdown. So <laughs> he has just been slaying out there and I'm happy for him. So last thing to bubble wrap and then we're gonna add in our antlers. I have four antlers that I've collected since moving here. Sometimes Finley will bring them home from walks. Sometimes my in-laws will find them. You know, it's just been a lot of antler donations. And speaking of Pinterest, who knew everything that you could do with an antler? People, especially in cabins and stuff like that, use them for freaking like door handles. I think that's so cool. So you never know, I might end up doing something with an antler. All these antlers that I have. Also, I've seen people make them into like chandeliers that are really cool. Like make their own light fixtures, so that could be pretty neato. Neato, neato, neat, neat, neato. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera because this is just, actually, this is a good stopping point because I need to show you what's up. Okay, so the little bird cage is probably gonna go over here too, and then I'm also going to add in all of these antlers, but I'm gonna need to bubble wrap these bad boys too, or at least add some padding and paper and all that stuff so that they don't like, pierce through all the bubble wrap. Also, I added into here this little hangy branch that we have, um, my basket bouquet and my fairy house. And it's gonna ride up front with me. It's pretty lightweight. It's just um, padded with paper so that all of these precious little things don't break along the way. So I'm probably gonna put this on the floor of the front seat of the Lexus with me. And then the dogs are gonna ride um, up in the front seat as well in their beds. And then I'm gonna put the back seat filled with all of these baskets. I fucking love these produce baskets. They like collapse and then you just rebuild them, clip them in at the corners and then they become a little crate, which is awesome. So I put all my house plants in here and then also in here and in that basket, I forget what I put in there, but I think I put, oh, I put all my dried flower bouquets in there. And then tomorrow I'll also load in this giant Monstera and this giant Monstera into the back of my car. So I think 
think that's good. And then I'll probably bring the dog food too, because Finley's already adding in a lot. So I'll probably put that in my car. I feel like I have more room than I'm like giving my car credit for. So I'm going to try to fit some things in, especially stuff that Finley can't um, fit in the truck. Tomorrow. Good morning. It's moving day and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't end off the vlog last night. I showered and put my hair into this braid. My hair is still a little bit damp, but I'm loving the feeling of just being clean now. Also, I'm sitting on a squeaky part of the floor, sorry. But um, my in-laws are actually about to come over and say bye to us. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna finish packing and head out whenever we finish. But. I'm gonna work on packing my car. I'm so tired. Um, I need to be caffeinated and then you know, I'll have a, a second wind. <laughs> well, probably my first wind actually of the day. I literally just woke up at like 8.30 a little while ago. Okay, I backed my car up in front of the U-Haul so that I can just add everything into the trunk that I need. And I'm loading in all my plants. It's gonna be like a greenhouse up in there. Yeah, my cacti. I'll get them too. I forgot about them. Thank you for reminding me. Watch out, Harry. Okay, kind of weird lighting in here, and I know it's a little echoey now doing the laundry in here. But I also just don't know where to put you. That's like a normal angle. So sorry if I'm moving around, but I'm doing the laundry. So basically, we just spent the morning saying bye to my in-laws. And it was very cute and sweet. Just thanked them for allowing us to stay here. And, you know, it's been really nice to be closer to family and everything like that. So I was just telling them all of that. And um, while we were doing that, Finley was kind of packing a little bit. Um, but obviously we were just trying to be present and in the moment and after they left we immediately started packing Well, I immediately started packing the Lexus and then I got Finley reminded me which you probably heard him say on the vlog, but he was like, did you get all my cacti? And I was like, oh No, <laughs> thank you for reminding me to do that because Finley loves cacti he has a couple of different varieties but unfortunately a lot of them like died in the move so he came here with probably like closer to 10 or 11 and now there's only six left so that's kind of sad but what can you do hopefully we can spend some more time rehabilitating them at the new house or just get more varieties you know but i just packed the car filled with all of that stuff and then i noticed that there was a laundry basket full of all of the stuff that I washed late last night. And I'm so happy I did because I had to wash these sheets um, because they were stained from when we had people over last. You know, women be bleeding. I feel like I'm saying that to the same tune as women be shopping from Kevin on The Office. But I do wanna say, this is not sponsored, but the Blue Land OxyClean like laundry booster situation is amazing at getting out stains. At first, I thought that it was just like to add scent because the Blue Land, I use their laundry tablets too, and the laundry tablets are unscented. And so I thought that it was kind of like a scent booster to have the like powder little like laundry booster um addition but it's not just for scent it's definitely to get out tough stains because there is not a hint of blood on these sheets no more so that's fantastic and i was worried about that because i didn't want to like leave stained sheets here because these are not ours anyway um so i got all those stains out i also did a buttload of Finley's like little workout shorts. He calls them his panties, but um, he's just been wearing these like the entire move and he has been sweating so much that they've just been disgusting. So I needed to wash all of those. I was like, honestly, don't feel bad about like wearing a different pair or having to change because I'm just gonna do one last load before we leave. And I'm so happy I did because now he has a bunch of non-stinky stuff and so do I. I washed my outfit that I was wearing for like three days straight. And I am definitely sweating a little bit now even though it's still overcast. And I do still have a couple of things to do. We have to figure out, um, 
how to remove the legs of our television upstairs that I was using as basically like a PC monitor for my gaming PC upstairs. Finley and I each have one. We originally built one to share and then he pretty much just like gave it to me and I don't think you can see it but he has a white PC that sits in here and he built that this past year for himself. So we still have to pack the PCs. We also still have to pack yeah, the TV, like I said, but we don't have a screwdriver right now. Like all of our tools are packed away. So we're like, how do we remove those legs and get the TV back in the box? I don't know. So that's what we're currently trying to figure out. We're not like having to leave at any specific time. I mean, like our closing is in the morning. We have our final walkthrough at 8.30 and then our closing is at 11 at the lawyer's office. So we shall see, you know, I think this is ours. I really can't remember like what rags are ours or what isn't. I'm just gonna bring that towel just in case. Anyway. Crazy things happen when a wiener gets out. I love this shirt. He found it at a gas station. I'm telling you, next time you're road tripping across the country, one, you have to stop at Fat Dog's gas station in Nebraska. That's where Finley gets all of his Girth Matters t-shirts. And um, <laughs> they're a crowd favorite, truly. I think he got that other shirt and the one that says, if you can't run with big hogs, stay in the pan. We got that at the Idaho truck stop off I-80, which is the largest truck stop in the world. I kind of low-key wish that we were like driving cross country today, but then I also low-key don't want that, but it's just so fun. Like there's just so much to see across the country, you know, meadows, fields, all that kind of thing. There's actually not that much to see, especially if you're going just on an interstate. But anyway, I digress. I finished the laundry, so I'm just gonna put all of this away. Oh, I need to finish packing my suitcases, what I also need to do. I need to get all of my shower stuff out of the shower and put it in here. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, just wanted to update you on what we've been doing this morning. But um, yeah, I mean, all I'm trying to say is that it's currently 10:30, and we don't have to leave at any specific time but we're definitely trying to be out of here like by two because it's gonna be like an eight to nine hour drive especially with the slowdown of i'm probably gonna convoy like behind finley so that i can make sure that with his heavy load nothing goes wrong you know his mom told me that she would prefer if i did that and i was like honestly that's what i was thinking too because otherwise if i just go like 80 the entire time or like like use my cruise control not 80 in all speed zones but you know sometimes the speed limit is 80. anyway <laughs> i don't need to tell you about my road safety i'm a good driver okay but um if i go like the normal speed limit and he's going slower because he's driving the u-haul towing the truck like i'm gonna get there so much sooner than him so me and his mom were both like yeah i think i should convoy behind him and just make sure that like nothing goes wrong and we have everything you know ready to go knock on wood all right, I have my items. All my clothes and shower stuff are in the suitcase. All my work stuff is in my laptop case and all my like chargers and tech stuff, except for my AirPod Maxes. Those are in here just cause they wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put my camera in my purse. So technically I have four bags cause I also carry my purse just for like my keys, wallet, phone, and you know, you. Okay, all of the remaining stuff in the house is here, or at least the remaining stuff that was upstairs. So Finley's pillows, our keyboard, the PC, Christmas decorations, and then I'm going to break down this TV because Finley went and got two sizes of a little screwdriver. So I'm gonna do that, put that in here, and then bring that out to him and slowly start bringing everything else out too. Voila, I've done it. I'm proud of myself. Fun fact, this is actually the TV that I won for free at the Colton Tell, which is like our local, I don't know why I'm saying R, like I still live there, but when I lived in Colton, Oregon, we would have a yearly Christmas tree lighting at our internet providers like office and we would light the tree and then they would do a raffle. And in like 2018 or 19, I won this ultra HD TV and I use it as my PC monitor. So it was really slay of them to give that to me. Alrighty, moving everything out. I have to grab this sunflower. I forgot about my doormat. I actually grabbed the other one. Lindsay sent us a mushroom one, but I'm about to tape a sheet around this lovely piece of artwork that we bought 
from our friend and very, very talented artist, Deandra Wilkins. And so we bought this back, I think in September at her show. And um, it's just on a piece of foam board actually. So it's super, super delicate and we don't want anything to happen to it. So I'm gonna wrap it in this sheet, tape the sheet around it and maybe even try to put it in my car on top of the plants because it is so lightweight. I think that like some of the monstera leaves and stuff are like strong enough to support it. So we'll see, I might try to do that. If not, then we, We'll have to put it in a different situation. I think I may have enough room in my car to bring Finley's keyboard. So I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up. I feel like I'm rolling a roll of fabric. Well, that's technically what this is. We got these like recycled material moving blankets and they're very slay for protecting our items. Okay, my last task before I just bring all the Christmas stuff out to the little house is to just get rid of all of our stuff that we don't want. I'm gonna feed this to the pigs because it's a delicious tabbouleh treat. And my mom and I made too much. And just take all the other stuff that's ours or that we want and put it in my refrigerator bags. So that's what I'm up to. It's all done up. Is that thing gonna fall out if you let go of it? Shit, you killed it, King. Can't believe it. Everything's totally up in there. Yeah, I could have fit a tiny bit more, but I think it's very good. Woo. Let's go to Vermont. Okay, girls. I call this the clean out the fridge feast. That's very terrific for you. Girls, are you going to have so much fun living in Virginia even while we're gone? Oh, I know it. I even put a giant watermelon in there for you. I wonder who's gonna bite into that first. You have so much to eat. And I'm gonna miss you so much, girls. I really am. Ah! <laughs> oh, you love to bully, ducky. You love to bully, peachy. Wow. Yeah, girls, you're gonna get really taken care of and we're gonna see you really soon. Don't worry, you're gonna move to Vermont and have so much fun. Wow, food's flying everywhere. I gotta get out of the landing zone. Ducky finally got into her favorite snack, the watermelon. Mmm, look at my happy dog, Larry. Larry, we're moving to Vermont. That house that you love so much, we're moving there. So happy. Ducky pushed the watermelon over to her little zone and she had to push it up against the fence because she couldn't bite it. It was just rolling around like a soccer ball. Good girls. Love you ladies. Girl dinner. Okay guys, I'm like a floating head right now, but it's like 2-ish p.m. And I actually just called our realtor and I was like, hey, can you check with the seller and see if it's okay for us to leave our moving truck and one of our vehicles in his driveway tonight so that we don't have to like take it to a motel and we can just, you know, leave it there. And he was like, it should be fine. You know, he's not even gonna be at the closing, so I don't know why he would care, but I'll call and make sure. And then he was like, hey, did you get the wire transfer over for the home purchase? Cause that's due at 2 p.m. I literally called him at 1.50 and I was like, oh, Nobody told me that it was due at 2 p.m. So, okay, you know, <laughs> I'll do it right now. And we had to like, we just had some financial delay of cashing out one of our accounts to then wire the transfer over because all of our like funds for the closing were like tied up in bonds and invested and all that stuff. So we had to like cash out of all of those and we're still waiting on those to like be cashed out. And I think it'll only take, fingers crossed, a couple of hours and then we'll be able to wire transfer the money over and hope that it lands. But apparently the seller is purchasing his own house somewhere else tomorrow. So when I called, okay, so I got off the phone with my realtor right after he said that and I was like, oh my God, I'll like do that right now. And he was like, yeah, also you need to switch all of the utilities to your name, like call all of the places and be like, hey, can you put this under Megan Hughes and like give them your account information? I was like, oh, okay. So I still have to do that. And then after I got off the phone with him and we cashed out of our accounts and stuff like that to try to send the wire um then we were like oh we should call our law office that because you have to have an attorney review your purchase of a home so like tomorrow we're signing the closing papers and stuff at our attorney's office so i called the attorney's office and i was like hey this is what's up i just wanted to like keep you in the loop not keep you in the dark on what's currently happening like we didn't know that it was due today you know they didn't say that in the email but i'm not going to blame them i was just like we were unaware until i just talked to my realtor so like we're cashing out we're gonna send the money and she was like the only thing that like 
could, you know, make somebody upset is that if the money doesn't land tomorrow and the seller needs those funds to purchase his own house, um, then like maybe that could be an issue. But again, like it's not your fault. Like you just, you didn't know. And like you can just wait on it and hope for all the best. So that's our current thing that's happening right now. And it's 2.13. So I'm going to call the utilities right now and switch everything over. We already got our own internet. Um, but I need to switch over our oil for the heating and our electric. So I am going to do that now. All right. Love ya. I can't see you. Going to Vermont. I'm gonna follow behind his ass so I can keep an eye out for any funny business. You slayed that king. I just got all the utilities switched to our name, so we both slayed something. I'm not excited to drive this. I'm praying for you. I just gotta take out the trash. Finley's packing up some last minute things upstairs and he's also gonna shower because he smells like a barn. <laughs> and then I'll show you like an empty house tour basically. And then we can go. Okay, my little doggies are waiting outside and this is how we're leaving the house. These three jackets are not ours. They were here when we moved in. We are also leaving this bag for our friend Emma who has to come and pick it up. And all of this right here is for my in-laws. I borrowed their blender. The actual blender is in the dishwasher right now, which I just ran with all of the dishes that are theirs. There are flies everywhere, please excuse them. We've had the doors open for two days um, and we don't have any screens. <laughs> I did the dishes that need to be hand washed. Those are over there. Um, I'm leaving some staples in here for whoever comes next. There was a lot of that to begin with as well. I'm not gonna show you all that though, but basically this is all of the things. Took up the trash, took up all of my tablecloths in here. This is all cleaned out in the dining room. And then we go upstairs and I took all of my art off that windowsill. I'm actually leaving this flower wreath here and I'm leaving these lights up because the lights are actually really nice for this room because it gets so dark. It's only lit by this lamp. So we're gonna leave these here, maybe take them the next time that we come to get another load. But for right now, just keeping them. And then over here in this room is all empty. That huge wall of stuff, gone. And then in here, I'm gonna keep, I think, this box in here because we need to put this painting in it. Why not leave the box in the little house? In the little house? That's a good idea. I'll move it over there. Uh, Finley just has to clear out some of the stuff in his closet and pack up his stuff into his bags, but that's all good. We're leaving Larry's favorite bowl chair, but we're oh, gonna... Forgot. Yeah, we're gonna get it next time we come. This whole room, totally empty. My closet. Isn't it crazy to see this? It's just a little bedroom, but I turned it into a closet. And then in here, took out all of my shower stuff. Finley's drying his disgusto clothes. Smells really bad in here. Uh, took everything out that was ours out of the linen closet. This room is totally clean and all of the drawers and everything are empty. I took everything off of the front and back porches that I needed to. Upstairs is totally empty. I emptied out of this closet. This rug actually goes down here, but I just washed it the other day, so I don't want to put it down again. But this is all empty. Took everything out of that bathroom. That was mine that I used for baths. Took everything out that was in here. This was our bedroom. And I'm gonna miss this bed frame. I love the horseshoe cowgirl bed frame. And then come here. I also turned off the AC just because nobody's gonna be here for a little while. And I turned off all of the lights so that we're not using any power. These pillows, our friends Kara and Ed left here when we had a party and they slept over in here. So I'm just leaving them there for them to come and grab. But this whole room is totally cleared out. Voila, we are ready to freaking go to the vote. We're on our way. Woo! Okay, let's go to Vermont. 
really this time. Let's go, dogs. Hello, it seemed to say. Have you come to claim me at last? Yes, yes, I wanted to say. Even as part of me wished it were otherwise. All right, we've reached our first official stop in Winchester. We are currently here because while well, Finley needed gas, he said that he maybe has like three hours per tank on the U-Haul uh, cause it's just carrying so much weight. It burns through gas so fast. And because I'm caravanning behind him, I don't know if it's caravan or convoy or both. I feel like they're kind of interchangeable. So if I'm using the wrong term, then sorry. But because I'm riding behind him, I'm able to see like what's going on. And he originally tarped everything in his truck bed on that trailer that we're towing. And um, the tarp has just been like ballooning you know, completely falling off under the straps. At one point, one of the straps popped off and was dragging behind his car. So we had to pull over on the shoulder. So that's why I said this is the first official stop because actually the first stop was that I had to wave him down and be like, your strap is dragging on the highway. And now it's like completely not usable anymore. One of those moving straps because it was just like, you know, dragging for so long that the threading like is fucked. So anyway, <laughs> a few minor mishaps, but nothing crazy. And I really actually enjoy driving behind him because it's just like a slow, chill moment and I can watch out for any funny business and just kind of keep an eye on him rather than be like, yeah, go for as long as you want. Like he would have never known about the strap if I hadn't been like, your strap is loose, you know, and then have to flag him down. So anyway, the dog is doing really well. Finley just went inside to go to the bathroom and get a snack and I'm just in the car vibing. Oh no, I have a tick on me. Oh my God, another one. What is with these mother cluckers? Finley told me that he found one on him when he was driving. I'm also covered in like a bunch of black shit from taking the tarp off. Oh, cause I forgot to say that. We just decided to take the tarp off of the bed completely. Just keep an eye on it at gas stations. Like one of us will go in or the other one will go in because we do have some stuff like exposed in the back of the truck bed. Um, and that's why we wanted to tarp it because like we have a TV back there and a lawnmower. Not like anybody could get these things out very easily. They're very like secured in there. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on things. But anyway, I texted my family that we're on the way. We're probably not gonna get there till late at night, drop the truck off in our new driveway. And well, in the morning it's gonna be ours. And um, then we're gonna go stay at a hotel with this car. So I'll just move the dog beds and have Finley come in with his stuff. And then we'll go to the closing in the morning. So. That's what's up with me. And I'm also on chapter seven of A Court of Mist and Fury. And I'm very much so enjoying it. A lot of people told me that the first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, is, is like the worst book in the series. And that the second book is like one of the best ones, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, we're vibing, I'm enjoying it. I love listening to the full cast version on graphic audio. It's such a full, beautiful story. I'm living for it. Look at these dogs. You dogs are really enjoying yourselves, huh? Larry loves the sunspot. I put both beds here and I knew Ru would do this. She loves to go to her little perch. I leaned the seat back as far as it could go with the seats down behind it. Um, it obviously can't go into like a full flat bed, but it can go pretty far. So she's really enjoying perching up there. We love life here. We have a little somebody coming over. She loves to ride on my lap. Finley just bought a giant hot dog wrapped croissant. Rue is totally freaking out. She needs some. Don't give them too much. I'm the one riding with these two farty pants. What is that, a giant corn dog? How are you doing, trucker family? Took me forever to find the USB. Oh, you bought your aux and your USB cord. That's good. Love you. Hey y'all, I wanted to tell y'all that we've driven through Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and now we just entered Pennsylvania. That's my state update for you. Just a few more to go. We stopped at a Walmart somewhere in Pennsylvania because Finley wanted to get moving straps to secure the tarp back on the truck bed because we may run into some rain and there's some things in there that can't get rained on. But I wanted to turn on the camera and update you and also film this tiny little baby. She doesn't like when she sees her dad go somewhere and 
doesn't know where he went, so she's kind of beside herself, so I'm rocking her like a baby in the parking lot. Much, much, much later. It's so fucking late, dude. It's been hours. I'm listening to the comment section. I'm following Finlay. We're in New York, and then we're gonna go to Connecticut and Massachusetts, and then Vermont. We still have like two hours and 45 minutes to go. I don't even understand how this drive has taken so long. We're literally not gonna get there until like 3.30 in the morning. I guess we left at like 3.20, so things are making sense barely. I don't know how we got three hours added on to this drive. Y'all are not gonna believe this shit. So it is currently almost 4.20 in the morning. Our original plan was just to drop the moving truck off at our future house and then come and stay in a hotel because we thought we would get here much earlier. And then when it started to get really, really late, Finley was like, fuck even paying for a hotel, dude. We should have just like camped in the yard or something like that. Like I wish we had even left a mattress out at the back of the moving truck so we could have gotten it out and then slept on the floor if, you know, the seller left the place unlocked. Like we're buying it tomorrow. He probably wouldn't have minded. And even when we toured the house, he was like, y'all should just stay here. You're really driving all the way home to Virginia right now. Like you guys can sleep here. I have a futon. You don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Like so nice. We knew that he wouldn't have cared. Anyway, um, Finley was like, you do whatever with the dogs, but like, I'm just gonna sleep in my car, honestly, and go and take this moving truck there. Cause he really just wanted to like stop driving it. It's so hard for him to drive, you know what I mean? So he was like, I'm just gonna go take it there, fall asleep in the front seat, wake up for closing, whatever. So I was like, okay. So I literally just met him on the side of the road like 10 minutes ago, gave him a blanket and was like, see in a little bit. And then I go to the hotel that we stayed at last time that we were in this area and they've turned it into government housing, which is cool, but also who knew? He was like, yeah, we just got bought off by the government. So like, I don't have any rooms, you know, sorry. But there's a hotel right backing up to us. And he was like, they might have rooms. So then I go to this hotel and they're like, no, sorry, we don't have any rooms. We're booked out for a wedding. So now I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just go sleep in the car too, in the fucking driveway of our house. Just so ridiculous. I should have like called ahead, obviously, but did not. And these towns are normally not popping at all, like around, and so I thought it would be fine to get a hotel and I'm not gonna drive farther for a hotel than like, you know, where we are right now. Like we're pretty close to the house. So I'm just gonna go to the house then, but just wanted to update you on what's happening. I'm also so hungry and have just been eating Pop-Tarts for multiple hours. It's really, we're in the trenches right now, dude. But tomorrow we're gonna be homeowners. So it's only up from here. We're home, woohoo. <laughs> so ridiculous of us. I can't believe it, but it totally worked out and he left it unlocked for us because he's a king. We're really here, dogs, in our new living room. Finley made us a makeshift bed on a moving blanket. And I'm also gonna lay in Larry's dog bed and probably Rue's dog bed as some cushioning underneath me as well. But I can't believe it. So cute. The sun's starting to rise. We got here so late. Is this your new house, dogs? Are you so excited? The dogs are so full of energy because they slept all day in the car and then they just ate and ran around in the yard. Do you know that it's 5 a.m.? We have to hit the hay. <laughs> I was just telling Finley, it's actually really good that I got turned away from both hotels in town because it just gives us the opportunity to be close together. So this is just your memo that everything happens for a reason, okay? Never lose hope. Keep on dreaming. Don't stop believing. We're home.